Hello, welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I am going to be decluttering my shoes. At the end of every single season, I like to go through my shoes, my wardrobe, and just see what I can declutter. If you're new here, my name is Shannon, and you can hit the subscribe button to join my channel. And I also have just started a membership option, so you can check that down below by pushing the join button. This video is going to be part of a series where I go through my house and see what can be decluttered. So let's get started on these shoes. I keep my shoes in two different areas. My out of season shoes I keep up there where I don't need to get into as often because it's not as easy to get things down. Then all of my shoes for the current season I keep down here at the top of my closet. In case you're interested, these shoe boxes are from Ikea. I really love them because they have a clear plastic front and you can see the shoes super easily and get to them very quickly. I have a few tips for deciding what to keep and what to get rid of. Number one, I like to analyze when is the last time I wore this particular shoe and how often did I wear it. And the other thing that's very important to me is how comfortable the shoe is and is there a reason why I'm not wearing it. This pair is one of the ones that I've been questioning whether I should keep or not. And honestly, I do like these shoes. I haven't worn them this last winter because we really didn't go anywhere where I needed to dress up and this isn't the type of shoe that I would wear out walking long distances because it does have a heel. Um, they are comfortable though, so I think what I'm going to do is keep them. Sometimes these are cute for going out. These can be nice even in spring and summer with a dress if I need to go somewhere dressy. So I think I'm going to hold on to these for at least one more season and see if I wear them. If I don't, then I'm going to declutter them. Since these are the type of boots that I would only wear when I'm going out or dressing up, I'm going to stick them in the top part because I don't need to get to these on a daily basis. This last fall, winter, I bought two different pairs of walking boots. In case anyone's interested, these are called Bear Traps. They are so comfortable and I wanted a very comfortable walking boot to take Emmett to school and pick him up. So these were awesome all throughout fall and winter and same for these. These are Clarks and again these are very comfortable but since we're going into spring even though it's kind of cool here I do feel we're a little bit past wearing boots. It just seems a little bit odd to be wearing a very winter type boot in spring. So I'm going to put these away for next year because I know they're comfortable and I wear them a lot. I use these bins in my closet for my everyday shoes because look how easy they are. You can see the shoe through this little window and you just pull this down, pull the shoes out, flap this back up, and you're ready to go. So this keeps me super organized, and it keeps my shoes clean from dust and debris that just falls in the air. Um, so I really, really love these, and I don't have a link or anything, they're from Ikea. If you want, you can just look it up on Ikea. Here is a pair of boots that I know can be donated. My mom gave me these boots years ago. They were hers, and they hurt her feet, and so she gave them to me. And turns out that they hurt my feet as well. I've had them for years, like I said, and I do wear them. I can wear them for a short period of time if I'm not walking a far distance. But as you can see, that's not very practical. So because these are something I have not worn in a really long time, they have a very high heel and I'm not really wearing super high heels anymore. I just find with my lifestyle and my kids, I can't run in these and it just doesn't work for me right now. So I am going to donate these. They're in really good condition and I'm pretty sure these were probably a pretty pricey shoe to start with. So I'm going to donate them to a good cause. One tip I have is when you are sorting through things, have a bin or basket to put the items that you know you want to donate into so they don't get confused and you can just keep everything organized. Here's another piece of criteria that I do take into account when I'm deciding what to keep and what to donate. If you can see, this boot is very similar to this boot. And I have to say, these are much more comfortable, they're more of a walking boot, but these are so similar. 
that I'm going to donate these. Again, they're in perfectly good condition. They were handed down to me, again, from my mom. And I just find that I don't wear these as often. They're not as comfortable as my other ones. So I'm going to obviously keep the walking ones and I'm gonna donate these. Now we come to a high heel pump. I'm not sure what you call this, but I call these my old faithfuls because I've had these for so long. I've had these since I was in college, so over 10 years. When I do go out and dress up, I would still wear these. They're very comfortable. They're a naturalizer. So I'm gonna keep these, but again, I'm gonna keep them in the up upper area because I don't wear these very often. I don't go out very often. These are something that I like to keep on hand because there are those times when you go to a wedding or a one-off event. A black high heel pump like this does come in handy for those events. So here we have two pairs of flip-flops and I know I like to just keep one type of shoe of each type, but to be honest, these I think were very uncomfortable last time if I can remember right, and these are very worn down. I think I wore these every day, I can just tell. So what I'm gonna do is as spring progresses, I'm gonna see which one I wanna wear and I might eventually declutter these ones that are more uncomfortable if I can remember right. And these ones I will just wear until they wear out because flip flops do wear out. You will wear them straight down to where your foot is pretty much touching the ground and there's no uh, flip flop left. If I'm storing my shoes for an extended period, I just like to zip them up so they stay in good condition. So part of me does wonder if I should keep these just in case they come back in style. I think I'm gonna declutter them. Honestly, I don't see myself wearing these anytime soon. The shoes I have left finally are some sandals and that's perfect for spring and summer. So I'm gonna pull these out and I am going to start wearing them. These are comfortable. I wore them last year. They're good for dresses, whatever. They're good for walking. So these are perfect. I'm going to put these into the white bins and keep them stored in my closet so I can grab them at any moment. that's empty right here. I do have some tennis shoes that I wear when I go out of the house right now. Those are currently in the garage, so I will put those in here when I'm not wearing them. So here's my basket of shoes to donate. What I'm going to do is gather all the other items that I intend to donate at the end of this seasonal declutter and take them all at once when the donation locations reopen because they're all currently closed right now. Seasonal declutters like this help me to stay more minimal and more organized. I really encourage you to go through your home at the end of each season and see what can be decluttered. Also check out that membership option that I've now enabled on my channel. All you have to do is click that join button down below to check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.